Hello friends, so welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a spot welding machine with uh, three electrolytic capacitors. So these are the three old electrolytic capacitors and you can see the brand name and their specifications. Uh, this is uh, the brand name is Mallory and it is made in USA and the, and the capacitance is as a, what it is it is one lakh ten thousand microfarad and it is rated uh, 15 volts so I'm going to uh, to connect three of these identical capacitors in parallel uh, to obtain the maximum capacitance of 3 lakh 30 thousand microfarads and at the same voltage that will be 15 volts DC so these are like this and I have uh, placed them um, together through these rubber bands uh, so guys what I'm now going, going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, hot glue these uh, uh, capacitors with this uh, silicon gun So after we have super glued it, uh, now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to connect these wires to these capacitors so that they are connected in parallel. So, so the uh, the positive of every all the three capacitors will be connected uh, to this one wire, and uh, similarly the negative of each of these three capacitors will be connected to this second wire. Okay, so guys, in this step, we are going to make all the necessary corrections uh, for uh, the spot welding with these uh, non-super electrolytic capacitors. So, in my experience, the best voltage with which this capacitor bank works is uh, between 12 to 13 volts. So, uh, your uh, 12 volts battery will work just fine. And let's see the voltage that here holds. Okay, so we can see it is 12.81, which is uh, almost 13, um, and this voltage is uh, just perfect for the spot welding purpose. So now, I'm going to do all the connections. So you can see these two wires, one black and one red wire. So I'm going to just join it to the red wire, and red stands for the positive and black is for the negative. I am connecting a jumper wire which is uh, uh, which is for the positive and I am going to connect that positive to the positive of the battery with dragon clips. Okay. 
so the first wire is connected now what we have to do is connect the second wire now for the second wire we are not going to connect it directly to the uh, to the negative terminal but instead we are going to use uh, this motorcycle bulb and the reason why I am doing this is because when we are doing the spot welding there will be a short circuit uh, for a second and uh, so the so that the battery does not undergo a short circuit we will connect a bulb so that all the uh, current passes through this bulb and the bulb will start glowing indicating that the uh, that the short, uh, spot welding has been completed now we have to go to the second circuit okay so we will connect one of the wires of this uh, bulb with uh, the battery okay so one wire is connected now you will see when I will connect this wire uh, the other wire of the bulb to this this bulb will start glowing and uh, after this uh, capacitor completely charges this bulb will uh, slowly reduce it uh, in illuminance and reduce to zero okay go you can see that is glowing and now it is reducing and it is almost zero so my capacitor bank is now completely charged and ready for doing any spot welding okay so uh, but before uh, proceeding to the spot welding we are going to connect the electrodes so we have two electrodes one is the welding electrode and uh, the best is uh, if you have both the electrodes as copper but since I didn't have the other electrode also as copper so I had to use um, one copper and one other electrode this looks like a copper but it isn't a copper electrode because copper does not melt easily this is a pure copper electrode okay uh, in the other video uh, of spot welding which I made in that video I showed you where we can extract this thick uh, copper from and uh, and you will use the same source for copper electrodes okay so connecting this uh, other electrode first so okay this electrode is connected now I'm going to connect this uh, this copper electrode So it will be something like this and you can touch these two terminals since the voltage is only 12 volts uh, and uh, it takes uh, more than 48 volts DC to feel the voltage by a human body so guys this is the nickel uh, strip tape that is used for soldering the 18650 lithium ion batteries and I'm going to use this for soldering these since I'm making a battery pack of, uh, of a 12 volts DC battery pack Here you can see that I have uh, silicon glued it and I am going to uh, solder a strip here and uh, one here and I am going to divide them in two since these are really thick and uh, that much thickness is not required So now we have two thin nickel strips, you can see. Now we are going to form the first soldering. Okay, so we have to place the strip like this. Since uh, we, are, uh, we are operating at uh, more than 12 volts, or it is 12 volts, so we need to wear the protective glasses which are used for welding. And Okay, so I'm going to just use this. But it is really important that you protect your eyes it is going to spark okay go yeah at present it is holding only because of one and the bulb glow is the indication that the, there has been a short circuit and the capacitors have completely discharged so that is an indication that your weld would be uh, would be perfect okay so I'm going to just uh, go through the same proce uh, procedure again on uh, this strip. Okay. Okay. So following the same procedure again. And one more thing, uh, you can see the uh, I told you this one. This one was uh, for, was the pure copper. The pure copper one goes to the strip, and the non-copper one goes to the body because the um, um, because the point of contact 
is that uh, which get uh, gets stuck to the strip if you use this one instead of this uh, then this will stick to the uh, to the strip and uh, when you will remove it the strip will come along with it but it is not the case with the pure copper one so you have to reuse the copper one on this strip okay going uh, going again on this okay go okay so this was the second now it should be perfect you can see that the second one is even better because I applied a better pressure over it you can see the dot, uh, dark spot over it yeah and now it is strong okay now on the second battery okay so the uh, the non copper one will be connected outside not on the strip but outside uh, the other other part uh, on which the strip has to be uh, soldered and uh, the copper one will be connected uh, will be touched to the strip okay it is like this now when i will touch this to the strip that will get short circuit and well okay go okay yeah see you can see that the uh, this uh, this non copper one gets stuck to the surface i don't think that would be a strong weld yeah it is a strong weld um, uh, just that we have to uh, give it another spot uh, two spots are good enough to keeping it uh, in the perfect position okay go okay yeah and I will give another I will give three okay go okay so guys now we have to go through the same procedure on the uh, the second uh, second strip uh, uh, second nickel strip since the first you already saw I did this now I have to do the soldering here uh, sorry spot welding here okay bring the battery like this uh, nickel strip like this Uh, since it's falling to keep something hold it straight yeah okay so focus guys first is this back one yes go see first spot it holds properly now for the second but capacitor bank is charged again go second is also good okay capacitor bank is charged again now the third okay so three spot fins yeah so you can see this is the spot well and now uh, at this point okay go Then get ready guys okay. go yeah first spot now for the second spot yeah so two spots have been done now one more spot I'll go Okay, go. So three spots for one well. Try that to keep them apart as apart as possible because if they will touch, then there will be short circuit. Let's see. Okay. So so this one is uh, much more uh, neat than the previous one. You see it is really neat and this one uh, got a little blackened no it is also neat it's because of the bend yeah at least uh, this uh, uh, this triple link is better than at this point right so I hope you like my video and uh, uh, yeah and please don't forget to hit like share and subscribe thank you so much guys for watching thank you